South American bullet ants could be more painful than their Costa Rican cousins that I've tried. Oh, I love bullet ants. I love them. I'm like a kid in a candy shop down here. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of these ants. Boom. Oh, oh, look at the stinger in my arm. Oh, My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and most dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre, or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth, deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now, this mission has brought me face to face with some of the most painful stinging insects known to man as I set out to reveal the truth about not only these animals, but their stings. Today, we find ourselves in the lowland jungles of Ecuador once again going toe to toe with the mighty bullet ant. Are these South American bullet ants any more painful than the Costa Rican ones I've tested in the past? Let's find out. Okay, folks, so we've got something really special for you planned today. What I have right here is a familiar face. In this little container, I have Paraponera clavata, the bullet ant. Now, the last time I took a sting from a bullet ant was over five years ago in 2018 in Costa Rica. I've taken a lot of stings since then, and I still rank bullet ant fairly high up, but I think I may need a little bit of a refresher. Now, bullet ants are in a monotypic tribe, which means these ants are the only species in their tribe, genus, and of course their species. However, I think that there might be some variability as they stretch through Central and South America, whether that just be in slight color variety or perhaps slight variations in size, but it could also mean that these South American bullet ants could be more painful than their Costa Rican cousins that I've tried. So, uh, I think that I'm going to take another bullet ant sting. Does that sound good with y'all? I think, I think you'll enjoy it. But take a look right here, folks. Easily one of my favorite insects in the world, Paraponera clavata, there's just nothing like them. They're so special, so unique as ants, and just an iconic and amazing insect. Oh, wow, I love these insects so much. Ah! I'm excited to try the sting once again. Like I said, these are one of my favorite species of insects, definitely probably my favorite species of ant, and it's always so much fun to experience the power behind these animals, because as you can see, completely placid, a calm creature. But if they need to defend their nest or their lives, they can deliver a wicked sting. Now, these bullet ants have an intense neurotoxin, but what that mostly is designed for is to tell my body that it's in pain, not necessarily to physically harm me, but to make my body feel like it is being physically harmed. And that's a great adaptation that many of these stinging insects have because if just a few of them can land a few powerful stings on even a large animal like a bear or an ocelot or a jaguar or something, they can easily deter these gigantic animals because the pain is intense and it's enough to make the animals that they're stinging feel like, oh, I'm really getting hurt, my arm's gonna fall off. And so these animals are able to really effectively defend their nest with that powerful sting. But as you can see, when they're not threatened, you're in no danger. But uh, without any further ado, I think we'll get right down to the nitty gritty and retest the bullet ant sting. Oh wow, she's beautiful. There we go. Oh! <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold you on there for a little bit. 
Oh, wow, just pumping venom. That is, see the stinger stuck in my arm there. about like how I remembered it just like mother used to make this sting is incredibly intense and painful but what's really interesting is that it takes almost a few seconds to start ramping up and kicking in Wow, that is quite painful you know what let's go for another one right I mean in the sense of adventure <sighs> <Woo>! <laughs> That's, uh, that's a pretty good sting you got on you, girl. All right, let's try this one more time. See the initial sting there? Boom. Oh, oh look at the stinger in my arm. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> Oh, that one, oh, that one was definitely worse. Oh, man, oh, definitely worse than a trash hog. <laughs> Had to throw that one in there for old time's sake. But wow, she's still, look, she's still embedded into my arm. Whew. She's trying to dislodge that stinger. I might have to help her in a second. These ants have incredibly large stingers for their size. And once again, those stingers are barbed. So when they pierce through my skin they have a chance of getting stuck it's okay shh, shh, shh. there we go you just needed a little bit of help didn't you okay yeah bullet ant uh still easily the most painful ant sting that i've taken easily still one of the most painful stings i've endured um and additionally now with these two separate stings it's going to be interesting to see the effects. My last bullet ant sting from Costa Rica, I had all sorts of uh, inflammation and sweating and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. So it'll be really interesting to see how my body reacts to these South American bullet ants. Granted, it'll probably be pretty much the same, but this is just too cool to retry this species. Let's take a look. Love them. I'm kidding. I wouldn't eat you, girl. Oh, I love bullet ants. I love them. I'm like a kid in a candy shop down here. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of these ants. Too, too, too cool. Well, uh, we're going to see the effects of this sting uh, over the next few days here. Uh, but uh, we love our beautiful little ant for helping us. Kissed her. I kissed her if you can't see it on the camera. Here, I'll, 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 you'll get a good kiss on camera. She can like sting me on the lips. Okay, that's close enough. Beautiful ants, fantastic test. One last look at this, folks. You can see sting two, sting one. We'll let her walk over her, the war ground. Look at this, folks. Woo! Woo! Love it. So here we go, folks. This is about 10 minutes. You can already see some of that localized sweating in, in uh, sting site number two, um, number one, sorry. Sting site number two, they're both starting to get pretty inflamed. You can start to see all sorts of patchiness and redness in my skin. It is still fairly painful. Um, not really died down since the initial sting, which is quite the leg up on the paper wasps and velvet ants and all that because the pain from those stings just immediately falls off. Like a minute later, you're like, ah, I can barely tell I got stung by anything. Next day, it's itchy, yeah, it's a little annoying. This is still fairly peak pain, 10 minutes after the fact, which is really, really impressive. And on top of that, it's going to have some really interesting effects on my uh, on my arm here. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep a close eye on this, but uh, I'm already really enjoying my second bullet ant test. Take a look here, folks. We're about an hour after the sting. And look at that, my arm is like profusely sweating. We've got all sorts of goosebumps. 
this is such an insane sting and these reactions always surprise me with these bullet ants because look at that I'm quite literally nowhere else I'm not sweaty over here I'm not sweaty up here but I am dripping sweat from this area of localized fever that is so weird Take a look here, folks. This is about 24 hours after my bullet ant sting. Whoa, look at all of that. It was fairly painful and sore most of yesterday. Now it's mostly just a little tender and itchy. But uh, really impressive inflammation from just an ant sting. Well, there you have it. And... I have an inkling that you guys aren't terribly surprised that I was able to roll with the punches as well as I was able to in this video per usual. But I have a secret surprise for you all. Yes, there is a secret extended version of this video that will be coming out sometime in the next month or so in which we have a few familiar faces testing their brawn and strength against the impressive bullet ant sting. Here's a quick sneak peek at the extended version of the bullet ant sting retest. Okay, folks, so I'm here with my special guest. I've got the Wildlife Brothers with me. I've got Harrison and I've got Evan. How's it going? And they are really excited. I am. To take a bullet ant sting. Now, have you boys been stung by really anything notable before? Honestly, no, a few paper wasps, a couple ants, but nothing on the caliber of yep. what I've heard of This will be ants. definitely a step up from the things we've taken in the past. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see these old white-bellied boys over here <laughs> taking uh, a sting from arguably one of the most painful stinging insects on Earth. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to hand you each your lovely gal. All right. Evan. Hey, sweetheart. First time free handling a bullet in as well. So that's always so much fun. Wow. Harrison, here's yours. That is so cool. Come here, it's okay. Hi there. <laughs> They're All cool right. little things. Really, really neat. So we've got the boys their ants. Now, what you can expect is an intense sensation of pain. And it's going to be something similar to right here because I've just taken my sting. Mm -hmm. Now these ants, like we see here again, these are not aggressive animals. Absolutely. These are defensive at best. So it's not until I have to force them to sting us that they are going to. Uh, but of course, you know, if you find yourself falling into a bullet ant nest, that's going to be a pretty painful adventure. Indeed. So uh, without any further ado, I think, uh, I think if you boys are ready, uh, we'll get started on your sting test. Awesome. All righty. I'm down. All right. We'll start with Evan here. You ready? ready? I am ready. All right. Let's I want her. you to put your arm down like this. Come in close for this one. 